Hey everyone, welcome to another C Sharp tutorial. So in this video, um, I'm going to show you how to make a for loop and explain the logic behind it. So um, I want to I want to show you first what I have with this while loop, and we're going to we're going to replicate it in our for loop. So let's take a look at the components we have here. The first one is our variable. We have our variable called index and we're setting it to zero. And then we have our condition, which is index is less than 10. And so while index is less than 10, we're going to have the index increment. All right, which is essentially just adding one more and then assigning it because um, with variables, there are two steps. There is declaring the variable, var index two, we'll call this one. So this is technically declaring the variable. I've declared the variable. And now it's giving, an issue, it's giving me an error because, see, it says the variable right here, the variable index two is declared, but never used. So it must be initialized right here. So two steps to creating a variable is declaring it and then initializing it, which is essentially saying it equals something. Because just declaring this variable um, doesn't necessarily mean that it has um, a value. So with that being said, we declare and initialize this variable and we make sure that uh, this variable is less than 10. And then while it is less than 10, we're actually going to increment this variable. So let's express that in a for loop. So for every, actually let me, uh, let, me, let me explain kind of the components here first. So we have our for loop. I put these brackets here, of course, um, because it starts off the exact same way as a while loop. Um, for we have our parentheses where our condition goes and then what executes during it. However, the for loop's a little interesting because you'll see we have three things going on right here. Variable declaration and initialization is one. The condition and then um, the incrementing of the variable. So the for loop does all of that in one um, in one statement, essentially. Well, it's technically three, but it does it all in the parentheses. So we declare a variable, i, and it equals zero, okay? Semicolon, we do the same thing, i is less than 10, semicolon, and then i increments. So this means we have our variable i. And I is only available inside of this for loop. There's no way I could ever say I equals nine outside of this for loop. Whoops, it autocorrected to index. So if I do this, the name I doesn't exist in the current context. So I only exists right here. It's the only place you can access it. So we have our variable I, which is short for index because we're indexing. Um, and it equals zero, whoops, zero. So we've declared it right here. We've initialized it right here. And right here is the condition, is i is less than 10, and then we're incrementing it right here. So again, variable declaration and initialization right here, condition and incrementing our variable. So during that, we can then do whatever we want. So right line, and we can just say I. All right, and then we run this, and there you go, same thing. Oh, whoops. So this printed off, you might be saying, hey, well, there's two loops. Um, this is the only loop that actually prints out anything. So if we did two, um, we could actually do this. Um, we could say console 
right line. And then we could say from the while loop. So we'll have from the while loop printed 10 times, and then we'll have um, this I printed out 10 times. Whoops, printed out a lot more times because I made a very common mistake. And you could probably already guess what that is. I didn't increment it. Oops. So I need to go over here, increment it, and there we go. So everything will work just fine now. And there you go. We have 10 from the while loops and our index printed out right here. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Join me in the next one, and we're going to go over um, just some details. I want to I want to explain um, how I could say um, how you could actually add strings with a variable number as well. Um, just some pretty basic stuff, but also kind of important um, when making programs like this. So it'll be a short video, but I look forward to seeing you guys in that one.